Our verse today is Luke chapter 11, verse 19. And if I cast out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore, they will be your judges. Jesus cast out a demon that was mute, and the dumb man spoke to the amazement of the people. Some people accused Jesus of casting out the dumb spirit by the power of Beelzebul, and others demanded a further sign from heaven to test Jesus. Our verse today contains part of Jesus' response to his accusers. Who is Beelzebul or what is Beelzebul? The Gospels tell us that it means prince of demons. So Beelzebul is the prince of demons. Some think it could also mean lord of the high place. The word comes from Hebrew, Baazevul, a Canaanite deity associated with Satan and demons, and it means lord of flies. Its connection with the prince of devils means that the powers are not from God, but based on magic or sorcery practiced by the other nations. A case in point is the experience of Moses and Pharaoh's magicians in Egypt before the Exodus, if you read Exodus chapter 8. Why will they accuse Jesus of casting out the dumb spirit by the power of Beelzebub? Now let's understand this. Among the Jews, some exorcists cast out demons. Some of them practiced incantations to ward off or remove evil spirits. They ascribed the same practice to Jesus. Therefore, they knew that their own magicians and sorcerers cast out demons relying on other powers using the power of Beelzebub. And so they are thinking that this is the same power that Jesus is using. We have an example of such sorcerers in the Acts of the Apostles, where some Jewish exorcists tried to imitate Paul's miracles by calling on the name of Jesus, if you read Acts chapter 19, 11 to 17. But they ended up in shame. Jesus therefore asks his accusers, by whom do your sons cast them out? In other words, by whom do the Jewish exorcists cast them out? Their exorcists rely on the power of Beelzebub. And since Jesus is not one of them, how can they accuse him of using the same power? When the magicians of Pharaoh could not duplicate the miracle of Moses before the Exodus, they said to Pharaoh, this is the finger of God. Read Exodus chapter 8 verse 19. Jesus references this passage of scripture affirming that God was the source of his power which was different from the Jewish exorcists. Hence Jesus is saying he is doing it by the finger of God. Jesus leaves the people to judge for themselves where their own power or the power of their exorcist comes from and compare that with what they had witnessed, the healing of the dumb man. God continues to heal people through the power of the Holy Spirit even today. Still, there are some people like the Jewish exorcists who in wanting to impress their followers or demonstrate that they have power, rely on some demonic powers to perform miracles. We are to be careful and be judges of the actions of such false prophets and miracle workers. Not every miracle worker must be trusted. Lord, give us the grace to discern the true power that comes from you and not be carried away by signs and wonders. Amen. God bless you and I wish you a lovely day.